Hey, it's Anthony at Innovator Race Cars, and shock shim thickness matters. I have a 12,000th shim here for a shock, and a 6,000th shim for a shock. Now, you would think if you ran out of a 12,000th shim, you could take two 6,000th shims and make it the same way. Well, that is not the case. When you do the math, to equal one 12,000th shim, you would have to have eight of these 6,000 shims to do the same thing or what you would think would be the same thing. But when you stack eight of these shims together with all the movement going on, it's gonna have a more progressive look on the dyno. It's not gonna be such a hard cracking force. And cracking force is sometimes called zero point. Um, depends on what you do. If you wanted a higher cracking force and a sharper cracking force, you would have to have a thicker shim to do that. If you wanted more progressive, you would have to do the eight stack. And sometimes shock builders will stack several thinner shims to give it a little bit better compliance over bumps. 